uncable yourself. Get fiber internet with YouTube TV and save up to $400 your first year from Frontier. The lawyers at BDNJ are used to dealing with some pretty big numbers. The emotional and financial stress from my skateboarding accident made it tough for my family. But BDNJ got us a $29 million settlement. Call BDNJ at 1-800-820-1111 today. In Vernon, a murder suspect is shot and killed by police during a struggle with an officer. An update in a case that captured the nation's attention. The Irvine woman accused of pouring, pouring Drano into her husband's tea is indicted by a grand jury. We're live with new details released today by the DA. And after an agonizing night for an Arlington Heights family, a missing boy is found safe nearly 24 hours after he went missing. The News at 5 starts right now. Good evening, you're watching the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. Thank you for joining us. We begin with breaking news in downtown Los Angeles, where three people were found dead from a suspected drug overdose. Gil Levis overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Cher and Pedro, you're looking at the LAPD here that responded to this death investigation. This is at uh, 7th and Wall Street. Now, uh, Brown 314, the LA City Fire Department got the call this afternoon of several people that were not conscious, not breathing here at this location. When they arrived, they found that three people were dead at the scene here. Now, last night, uh, LA City Fire also responded to the same location around 1030, and they had one person that was not conscious, not breathing. The, the paramedics were able to resuscitate that person. That person was transported to a local hospital. Right now, we're not sure the condition of that person, but again, three people people found dead here by the LA City Fire Department and LAPD on scene now investigating. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Gil, thank you. A multi-agency investigation is underway after a murder suspect is shot and killed during a struggle with police. It happened at a meatpacking business in Vernon and that's where KTLA Sandra Mitchell is standing by live with newly released information about the shooting. Sandy. Well, we know he was wanted for murder. This is a known gang member with a very long, very violent criminal record, apparently found in a homeless encampment near where we are standing. He took off running. Police uh, took off after him. And then he got into a scuffle with a female police officer and tried to take her gun away. It started just before 7 o'clock this morning. Um, that's when the shooting happened. Here's the scene. The suspect was killed uh, in his 20s. He does have a criminal record that apparently goes back years. We're talking about assault with a deadly weapon, robbery. A gang task force was in this area specifically one looking for this wanted suspect. It happened to the 5600 block of District Avenue. They found him, but again, he took off running, jumped over a 10-foot fence, but this female police officer from Southgate was right behind him. The Southgate chief explains uh, what happened next. As gang officers approached an encampment, the suspect fled the location and ran northbound along the bike path, then jumped down a 10-foot wall onto the service street and the 5600 block of District Boulevard, where commercial businesses were located. As task force officers were engaged in the foot pursuit, the suspect ran onto the property of a business and unsuccessfully attempted to gain entry into a service door. As a Southgate police officer confronted the suspect in the walkway of this service door, orders were given for the suspect to surrender, but he failed to comply. He then physically assaulted the officer and attempted to disarm her. When he was unable to take her firearm, he proceeded to strike her with an overhand swing with his right fist. After striking the officer, the officer returned fire, striking the suspect two times. All right, you heard the chief talk about that service door. You see the crime scene just behind us with that yellow tape up. That's the door where the suspect tried to get inside. We could tell you the female officer just released from the hospital. She is okay. The California Department of Justice now on the scene. They do investigate that any time a, a suspect is killed by police and they are not armed. We do know that this suspect apparently did have a weapon, but he did not have it on him when he was shot. The theory is that he dropped it. It was found in the street here during that pursuit. 
We're live tonight in Vernon. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Back to you. Sandra, thank you. A seven year old boy who disappeared from LA's Arlington Heights neighborhood has been found safe nearly 24 hours later. Police say Derek Clay was spotted this afternoon walking in the area of Fifth and San Pedro in downtown LA. It's not clear how he got there, but authorities do not suspect foul play. The child vanished Tuesday afternoon after he was seen playing in the courtyard of his apartment complex along Crenshaw Boulevard. Police say he was not hurt and will be reunited with his family. A possible break tonight in the search for a serial arsonist who's been terrorizing at least three neighboring L.A. communities. Investigators say there has been nearly a dozen incidents like this one in Mount Washington, mostly involving the burning of cypress trees. Last night, another tree was set on fire outside an apartment building in Glassell Park. The LAPD says officers located and impounded a car that appeared.